Hey, good afternoon. We uh, had a lady come up from Grand Cache here this morning to get her feed. And uh, while we were waiting for her, me and Buddy did a little bit more floating around the yard. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, my wife, she's been up here working on her chicken coop all day. My dad showed up this afternoon. Um, he started helping her. Kids wanted to go have a snack. So I ran down and I washed that sprayer all up. So next time the weather's nice or whatever sometime next week we can change them uh, tires over but for now I uh, while everybody's here I drew the short straw I uh, up on the roof taking all the shingles down so I had my phone in the tractor charging before, uh, when I started it took me a while to get everything I had to get the bucket bag on the back go grab that ladder uh, that one that goes on the roof so now that I got all that stuff I'm going to uh, climb up there and get right at it shingles off both sides of the roof we found a bunch of this uh, found I guess we knew we had it a bunch of this galvanized tin so uh, that's what we're gonna use it's actually the same tin that's on all these uh, lean tos <clears throat> which is uh, sometimes moving on to an old yard is frustrating because there's so much stuff to clean up but other times it's a bonus because there's a ton of extra tin that was just stacked in there so we're gonna use that I got the first sheet cut. I'm gonna take it up there and uh, see how it fits. So I'm up here now, I uh, got the first sheet of tin on. <clears throat> I think it'll go pretty good. Um, I was gonna <clears throat> strap it with one by fours. I thought that would be a good idea. I was talked out of that. Um, now looking at it, I should have done that because uh, <clears throat> rafters are quite far apart on this. So there's, uh, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna be able to find out where to nail it to, but whatever. If tin blows off, it can't go that far. It'll stop at the bush, I'll put it back on. So after I got all them shingles off, I uh, cut a couple pieces of tin, and then a uh, dude showed up to load uh, his five bags of feed that he had ordered. So I chatted with him for a little while. Um, once I got back up here, my wife was pretty much shutting her down. It was time to take the kids in for supper and a bath. So uh, I did get the one side tinned. Um, then I whacked, a, whacked the bejesus out of my thumb a couple times. So, uh, <clears throat> pretty much went from like excited to absolute rage. And then the fact that I was working by myself, I was just like, you know what? <clears throat> what is it? Eight o'clock. We never stopped for lunch today, even. <clears throat> so haven't had supper yet. So, I'm going to do this other side tomorrow. Maybe never. I don't know. Give my thumb a month to heal. <clears throat> I don't. Uh, but uh, my wife, she was doing. Uh, she was doing the inside here. Um, her and my dad, they were finishing off. Uh, <clears throat> finishing off around the windows here and then uh, my wife is putting all this insulation in here so it stays nice and warm and hanging all the plywood. Um, I'm not sure what she had done on the other side yet. <clears throat> oh, more insulation. 
Um, so yeah, she was working in here. She does pretty good at that stuff. So uh, she's got some other stuff to do tomorrow. Baby shower and stuff like that. She probably won't be out here, but <clears throat> I'll try to get the tin on the roof before we get any rain. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you tomorrow.